All right, what has happened in Hawk Squad? This is your man Tars Hawk. Finally, after two weeks, I have been MIA on YouTube for a while, not get a chance to post H Hawk Banger reacts every single week like I usually do, because I had a lot of interference going on. You know, I had college work, and you know, try to do my best to do my Hawk Banger reacts every single week, but I just couldn't do it. I just couldn't do it. I got burned out, y'all. I got burned out. So. I got myself back together again. So, Hot Squad, we're finally back. I'm finally, finally back. Going to drop some Heartbreaker Reacts, usually every single week. So, Hot Squad, if you're not seeing my post, from this point forward until my December, my semester ends for fall, I'm going to start uploading eight Heartbreaker Reacts every single week from this point forward. See, I was going to do five, but I wanted to amp up just a little bit. It'd be best if I do just eight. And, you know, I'll do like a four of them this day. And the other one, the last ones at the um, the other day, if I get a chance. So, like I said, for example, like if I do Hubbing React Tuesday, I'll post that that day. If I do the rest, if I do it Wednesday, Friday, or whatever in the weekend, I'll post the rest of that day. So, I'm going to switch things up so I'll make it more easier for me to do it because I don't have a lot, a lot of videos I've missed out on, y'all. Trust me, it's been nuts, man. So, Hot Squad, I'm finally back. So let's get straight into this Hot Banger React Week, baby. So Hot Squad, we're gonna check out some recaps that I've missed out on. So first things first, we're gonna check out the PS5 Pro technical presentation from March 30. So yes, Hot Squad, I'm very aware of the PlayStation 5 Pro has been announced, and holy crap, the price has absolutely been nuts. I mean, $700. $700 with no disk drive and no vertical stand. Boy, ain't no way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. So separately, y'all. So basically, 800 freaking dollars for a freaking PS5 Pro, which that's what would be nuts. But for me personally, I don't need the Pro because I already have the OG PS5 and it works perfectly to this day. So Hot Squad, oh boy, I have not seen the technical presentation. This is really, literally my first time seeing it. I, I've been staying away for more details on the PS5 Pro, but all I know is $700 and don't come with a disc and don't come with a vertical stand. I know a lot, it upset, it upset a lot of people. I mean, it freaking, Ooh, it pissed off a lot of people. I know it did. I had a lot of backlash too. So, Hot Squad, we're further ado. We're finally, finally back by popping the man with my Hot Banger recaps coming back, baby. So, Hot Squad, we're going to check out the PS5 Pro technical presentation right now. If it's your first time checking this out. Welcome. Nice to meet you. My name is Horse Hawk. It's Hot Squad. we further ado. Let's check it out. Hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Hi, I'm Mark Sony. I'm excited to be here to talk about the newest addition to our console lineup, PlayStation 5 Pro. All right, straight to it. advances gaming technology. But first, I want to take just a minute to look at what we put in the original PlayStation 5 and how it delivers an exceptional gaming experience. <clears throat> when PS5 debuted in 2020, it brought a lot to the table. 2020, four years ago, damn man, and I got mine two years ago. 8 Zen 2 CPU cores form the brains of PlayStation 5 and enable high-speed complex gameplay with character counts reaching into the hundreds and frame rates that can be as high as 120 frames a second. PS5 has a powerful RDNA 2 GPU which can render anything from intricate details to fantastic worlds with vast panoramas to explore. Oh, also, by the way, as I'm recording this, the state of play drops tonight at 6, so I'm going to do a reaction for that tomorrow after work. Ray tracing allows for dramatic visual improvements, including reflections off of water or glass, and the realism that comes from real-time global illumination. A custom SSD can load data at breathtaking speed, resulting in ultra-fast transitions between game worlds, and data streaming rates so high that traversal speeds are essentially unlimited. You okay? I'm working on it. Tempest 3 Audio Tech brings an unparalleled sense of immersion to the sound of the games. But yeah, in the long run, the PS5 got some really great exclusives as they showed. With audio so real, you may not even need to see the enemies to know exactly where they are. Finally, the DualSense controller has haptics that let you feel through your hands what your character is experiencing inside of the game. It's wonderful to see such variety and richness of game experiences. Creators have made amazing use of the hardware capabilities, but when I talk to them, I do hear about their desire for more graphics performance. The dreams of the developers are bigger than can be supported at 60 frames per second, 
And that leads to an aspect of modern gaming that we're all familiar with. Graphics yep, mode. Yep, graphics mode. It can be a difficult choice for players. Hmm. Not really. Fidelity modes emphasize the visuals, typically through higher resolution rendering. These modes might also have enhanced detail or use more ray tracing. But the games only run at 30 frames per second. The visuals can be choppier and the controls less responsive. Hmm. Performance modes emphasize frame rate and interactivity, typically choosing to run 60 frames per second. Of course. Mainly by reducing the graphical detail until those frame rates can be achieved. When asked to decide on a mode, players are choosing performance about three quarters of the time. Of course. Removing that decision, or at least narrowing that divide, is one of the key targets for PlayStation 5 Pro. We want to give players the graphics that the game creators aspire to, at the high frame rates that players typically prefer. To do that, PS5 Pro substantially improves over PlayStation 5 in three ways. Mm. Here's what we call the big three. Mm. First, we made the GPU much larger and increased the speed of the memory it uses. Okay. The result is rendering that's up to 45% faster. Okay. Second, we made major upgrades to the ray tracing taking a streamlined and accelerated approach that allows calculation of the rays at double or even triple the speeds of PlayStation 5. Mm. And finally, we added custom hardware for machine learning and an AI library called PlayStation Spectral Super Resolution, or PSSR for short. <laughs> PSSR. PSSR analyzes the game images pixel by pixel and can add an extraordinary amount of detail, which boosts the effective resolution of the games. Game creators are adding PS5 Pro support to new and existing titles, and with the big three involved, the results can be pretty amazing, mm. with graphics showing something like fidelity levels of detail, but it doubled the frame rate. Mm. Here's The Last of Us Part Two running on PS5 Pro. Mm. It has huge amounts of detail and targets a super smooth 60 frames per second. Let's compare this to the fidelity mode on PS5 which is only running at 30 frames per second and is therefore much choppier. Don't stop. Mm. This goal of delivering almost fidelity-like graphics at performance frame rate has been achieved for a broad set of titles, including Marvel's Spider-Man 2 and Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. We can see that PS5 Pro is close to doubling the power of PlayStation 5. Another way to compare the two consoles is to look at PS5 Pro versus Performance Mode on PS5, mm. both of which target 60 frames per second. What we see here is a difference in detail. PS5 Pro is much sharper and crisper than PS5. Mm. For this, my favorite is the parade scene from Ratchet and Clank. Distant details are much clearer. And here we can see Marvel's Spider-Man 2 is noticeably higher resolution throughout the scene including the trees and procedural cars. So overall, some remarkable improvement to the games. On PS5 Pro, we can see increased sharpness to the graphics or smoother and more responsive gameplay. This is the big three showing their value. As you've been seeing, machine learning via the PSSR library is being used quite broadly to add pixel detail and boost frame rate. But there are as many approaches as there are game engines. The increase in raw GPU power is being especially effective for Horizon Forbidden West. Hmm. Apart from the detail boost, that extra graphics power is allowing for improvements to lighting and visual effects, as well as to the hair and the skin in cinematics. Open up, guys. Dwarf's orders. Good enough for me. Ray tracing is finding broad usage as well, particularly when the games are focused on higher frame rates. The faster hardware in PS5 Pro can make a real difference. Allowing Gran Turismo 7 to add ray trace reflections between the cars in gameplay, mm. while continuing to support their targeted 60 frames per second. That boost in ray tracing is also delivering big wins for Hogwarts Legacy allowing not only for better reflections and a greater variety of reflective surfaces, but also for further realism in the casting of shadows. Okay. I need to play more Hogwarts Legacy, I hope you've enjoyed this run-through of the technology behind PlayStation 5 Pro. Simply put, it's the most powerful console we've ever built, and a worthy addition to the PS5 family. Hmm. 
Let me wrap this up by giving you a quick look at a number of games running on the new console. Mm. Copyright music. Copyright music. Okay, so I already looked how the PS4 Pro look. You know, I already looked at it. It has no no disk drive, whatever. It's just a totally slim. So, okay, Spider-Man 2, of course, PS5 Pro enhanced, obviously. Far Cry said Rebirth. Need to play more of this. Uh, I've been missing out on Rebirth. Rise of Bay West, of course. Arguably the best looking game of the um, generation by far. Arguably, hands down, one of them. Last was Part 2. Demon Souls. Need to play more of this. Rise of Rift Apart. Loved it. I beat it about two years ago. This is one of the first PS5 games I actually bought. Alan Wake 2. Loved it. Beating it last year. I want to play the DLC so badly. Assassin's Creed Shadows, okay, something coming soon. GT7. I've been wanting to get GT7. I've been back and forth trying to get that. Okay, that's pretty much it. Of course, Hogwarts Legacy. Okay. Oh, first to send it. Like I said, I'm muting this because of copyright music. <laughs> Y'all understand. Rookie stands sold separately. And, yep, $700. That's it. A little November 7th. Oh, wow. So it's really around the corner. Okay. And these pie prices, holy ish. Yep. Yep. That's it. That's PS5 Pro. And it's glorious, glorious. Look. Play has no limits indeed. <laughs> Yeah, pay has limits. By the looks of it. But anyways, uh, um, all of that. I mean, like I said before, this this ain't for me. This PS4 Pro ain't for me because I have the OG PS5, and you know, it's for people who wants to go for it, who wants to spend that seven hundred dollars. And look, that's on them. And guess what? I'm not gonna argue with them. Hey, look, it's their money. They can do anything they want. So hey, look. Yeah, I'm not gonna get a PS5 Pro. I'm not gonna get it because look, my PS5 Pro, like I said, still works perfectly. Perfectly. It's been two years. I had and it works perfectly. And uh, yeah. I make sure I keep clean all the time outside, you know, with all the vents, whatnot, get the dust out. So yeah, overall, yeah, I mean, it's, I mean, I know a lot of people are really pissed off about this. I know a lot of people are definitely are about the PS5 Pro's price, whatnot, without the disc drive and without the vertical stand. And basically, it's $800, both the vertical stand and the disc drive, which I believe this drive is going back and forth being sold out because of damn, you know, scalpers, whatever people are saying. It. But yeah, I mean... It looks fine. I got me. It looks fine. You know. I know the the backlash is pretty much justified. But overall, I finally saw it. I finally saw all the details of the PS5 Pro, y'all. So, Hot Squad, that is my conclusion on my whole banger reaction to the PS5 Pro recap. So, if you enjoyed this, please hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe to more of my Hot Banger content. Comment, share, share thoughts about PS5. Are you going to get? It? Are you not going to get it? And overall, yeah, this, you know, it's. It's something, you know, it's something, <laughs> it's something, you know, PlayStation, you know, wants to give out, and also, there's all its glory. So, Hot Squad, I have my Hot Banger recap marathon continuing with Zephyr's Black Panther recap, so Hot Squad, please stay tuned for that. <laughs>